And action. What's up, everybody? Welcome back again to Welcome. Swanky Disc Golf. It is Disc Miss, and today we are talking the best disc at every single speed, featuring Robbie Crawford. It's your boy, Leroy. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Glad to uh, be me here. and him are going to count down our favorite discs in each category. So, of course, this is subjective. Be sure to let us know what your favorite is down below. I know mine are only going up to 12 speeds, too. So let me know. I'm not about that 13, 14 speed life. I'm huge. So I throw <laughs> 15 speeds. Let's start with one speeds, which I had. So here's the thing. Up until today, planning to shoot this, my favorite one speed, the best one speed, in my opinion, was Lone Star Discs Armadillo. But we played a challenge today where I was forced to throw the polecat a bunch, and I freaking love the polecat. And I'm going to pass it over to Robbie. But I think the polecat might be my favorite uh, one speed. But for now, and, yeah. I'll say Armadillo. We'll see what happens next year. And Halo Plastic, it's a different disc. It like is. if you're If you tried is. throwing uh, polecats in um, non-premium plastic, I can understand... It beats in really fast. It gets a little flippy really fast. I keep one as a backup, but I love the premium plastic. Star plastic, just same thing. Uh, like, it's just as fine. Um, so, love the polecat. I was forced to throw the Dillo in the same <laughs> challenge, and it just reinforced how much I love the polecat. Actually, really great for, like, those turnover flexes. Yes, yeah. I think a lot of people compare it to the Berg because it's also a one-speed. Very different. Different discs. The Berg, the Berg is very, is very garbage. torque resistant very and torque also resistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. <laughs> same thing. So yeah. No, I like the polecat a lot. Yeah. Um, this is just I mean, this is also this is a very different disc. This is much flippier than a polecat, but Yeah. I don't know. Two speed, we might have the same two speed. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I don't know. My favorite two speed is the inner core from Ooh. Trash Panda. Um, genuinely, it's probably, I mean, aside from like putting with putting putters, putting with putting putters is my favorite two speed. Love how it flies, dead straight, cool story behind it. No reason not to bag it. Yeah. I, I love Jesse and I think that the inner core is amazing. Valid answer, valid answer. But if I were to say yeah. the two but. speed that is most <laughs> impactful in my life mm. right now, it's got to be the dagger. I thought <laughs> you was uh, going to pull out a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the wizard, wizard was a three. Speed. Is a wizard a two speed or is I think it a three it's speed? A two speed. Maybe it's a three. Speed. I don't know. I putt with him. Don't yeah. even know. <laughs> uh, honestly, I didn't realize this was a two speed until I checked right before we started filming this video. Uh, the dagger is one of the only putters that I've ever used, and I'm a firm person to believe that like all putting putters fly pretty much the same inside the circle. Uh, minor differences, and especially if you don't know your putt, I think that's true. The dagger is one of the few putting putters I've ever used that I legitimately believe. It says it has five glide, and I think it does. Like this it thing says just five glide. It says that's impressive. five glide, and this thing just soars. I mean, if you want to believe in being a dagger putter, <laughs> watch Ricky Wysocki putt with daggers and watch Ricky Wysocki putt with AVRs. Mm. Little different. One of those won, a, won two world titles. That's true. That's a very good case for the dagger. Much respect. Five glide. Five glide. That's pretty crazy. It is nuts. I ain't even going to lie. And now we're on to three speeds. And for three speeds, I have this guy right here. The Envy. The Envy is a three speed that flies as far as most five speeds do. It does. And that's really, like, not the only thing you want a three speed for. But that's pretty much why I use this. Uh, is I want a gentler landing than a mid-range. Um, the Envy, obviously greatest shot of all time, was thrown with the Envy. Um, I guess debatably. We had some pretty good shots today. I would argue. Earlier in our that challenges. That all time. <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. Uh, I forgot but, about that. But, uh, yeah, the Envy is just so good. And I know it's getting, uh, people, it's losing its hype because people are team proxy now or whatever you're doing, the new kids, the new generation these days. But Envy, number number three. <laughs> yeah, so... Surprisingly, I'm going to say that my favorite three speed is actually the end of a pick. Um, I'm I'm a little dedicated at this point. At uh, pig pig farmer for life. Yeah, you can zoom in on that puppy right there. That's uh, I'm inked up for life. Uh, yeah, how many of you guys are disc golfers that are that dedicated to a disc? Uh, so 
original flight numbers of the pig uh it was a three speed and so i i hold that it is a three speed absolutely love this disc it accomplishes so much for me uh even they beat in really fast with the r pro plastic and they can accomplish a lot if you play a round with me and you see me throw pigs i can do so many things with just a variety of pigs in my bag super reliable and the thumb track i know not a thumb track guy over here but i love the thumb track so gonna be the pig for me coming in at three man is the pig a three speed let us know down in the comments because i don't know uh we're moving on to number four number four is an easy one don't even have to think about it the discraft zone um for every reason you might think this is really cool this is one of the few times it's out of my bag and not turning purple discraft zone it's the goat i don't even need to say more goats are better than pigs and the zone is the goat i had to go grab I had to grab my four speed real fast. Coming in at my four speed is going to be the end of a pig. Because if you look at the flight numbers, it says 4103. And you know, I'm a firm believer in you got to lean into flight numbers. And you got to believe what they said. Don't make up your own flight numbers. Don't be that guy. It's the end of a pig. <laughs> and you guys just, you guys just deal with that. Uh, wow. You can hate me for it. That's fine. Uh, no, I mean, if I had to say, a real favorite four speed. I, I I think that the zone is iconic and I would give it to the zone. I, I like I literally am trying to think through doing a four speed battle on my own channel and I don't know what I want to pit against the zone to make that happen. So another zone. Another. <laughs> That's the only thing. <laughs> on to five speed. We all know what the best five speed is. Also, again, I think I have three disc craft discs in my bag. I say again because I said it in a previous video. Um, but two of them are the best discs in the world. One of them being the zone, the next one being the buzz. I freaking love me some buzz. This is a dark Yuli buzz. They just fly super, 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 super straight. Um, and far for me. Anyways, I don't know what it is. I can throw this farther than any other mid range. I have tested it. No idea why, but the buzz super good. And this is, that's pretty sick, right? That's a pretty sick buzz. Shout out to ABB for giving me that buzz. Yeah, that's, that's pretty clean. <laughs> I... So we talk about it in two speeds, but for me, I think coming in at the five speed. Pulls out another pig. <laughs> it's a pit. No, uh, it oh, is. It's go, the dune. Uh, that makes I, up for it. <laughs> yeah, I really love the dune. I think the dune is a great disc. Um, the dune is when people describe the hex and what they want the hex to do, which is easy flip up, sh ride straight, and then kind of just fall. Mm. But a lot of people, unless you're throwing fission hexes, I feel like the hex doesn't do that. And so people are having glow hexes and they want it to do that. Dune does that right off the shelf. I think it's really great. Um, very reliable. Jesse is making a lot of neutral to straight flyers. And the Dune is no exception to that. And it actually glides so much. Like the Dune goes so far. I like the Dune a lot. It actually so does. No. That it is pushed. a great pick. Push the hex right out of my back. That's a great pick. Uh, makes up for not picking the inner core earlier. Uh, so for six speeds, I don't want, I don't have this one in my bag currently, but my favorite six speed is the Castaplast Cac Z, and these guys are out of production. I assume they'll do something to fill that spot because it's a really unique spot that they have that I think a lot of people liked. I loved throwing the Cac Z. Six speeds are a little weird for some people because it's like a spot in between a mid and a fairway where the six speed rim is really starting to feel like a driver and it's like okay why am i not throwing a 7502 disc why am i throwing the caxi but it feels so good and it flies so nice go buy one because they're gonna be gone <laughs> very soon uh caxi buy, buy it now flash yeah. sale flash sale <laughs> Uh, for me, six and a half speed, but it's going to be the Crave. That doesn't count. Um, no, <laughs> six and a half speed. Uh, <laughs> Thumber time. No, it's, I think that this is such a good driver. If you don't have a lot of distance, this is a great driver to lean into. Um, my friend Dakota over at Overthrow Disc Golf loves the Crave. He throws this thing oh, yeah. all over the place. Overthrow gangs about it. Honestly, yeah, all three of them throw the crap out of this disc. Uh, like, it is so crazy. Um, easy distance goes really far. And I feel like gyro rims, we were having this discussion earlier, gyro distance driver rims can feel kind of weird in the hand. And getting that gyroscopic speed up to par 
can be really tough. But at a six and a half speed, I think is the final like flight where it seems easy to get the spin and the gyro effect out of the disc. So if you've never thrown a crate before, very neutral disc that goes super far. Yeah, no, great choice. If I had to choose a disc that is currently in production still, it would be the Crave for sure. Um, jumping into seven speeds, I'm going with the cookie. Um, the cookie is what's been in my bag, my go-to seven speed. I also really like the FD, which is a completely different disc if you want to go a different direction with seven speeds. But definitely my most heavily used, probably disc in my entire bag, is always like a 7502 kind of disc. I don't know why. They're super versatile, great for forehand and backhand, all sorts of lines for shot shaping. 7502s are just like workhorses. And my current one is the cookie. Could be the instinct someday soon because I love the instinct from Discmania, but today it's the cookie. <laughs> yeah. I I don't think I, I don't have any discraft up at this point, and we're about to go on a little discraft spin here for a second. Uh, but the sting <laughs> is we were we were also talking about this earlier uh it's been fun guys because they're here in my town so i've gotten to hang out with them all day as opposed to the normal i feel like <laughs> we bop in and we're like oh hey everybody yeah. and then i leave uh so <laughs> we the sting deep cut a lot of people don't really talk about this disc a lot especially with the introduction of the cicada um it's getting overshadowed the sting is such easy flip up they make it an esp and z plastic which is really really cool um I think this is a great distance driver, great woods disc. Flies very smooth in the woods. You can flip it up quite simply. Um, so the Sting, I it's going to be really hard for the Sting to ever be out of my bag wow. just because of how easy this thing is to throw and how far you can throw it. On like a simple turnover, I can get 360, 370 out of this simply as a 7-speed. <laughs> Hey, you don't have to flex. No, just get. <laughs> I can get that out of my 11 speed. No. Um, my favorite 8 speed is not currently in my bag. I don't know why. I think I lost one and I never got to replace it. Uh, and it is the Discraft Passion. Absolutely love that disc. Robbie's got one for us in the sickest plastic. The like Jawbreaker ESP. I don't know if it's. If they qualified as flex or not but it's very flexible very gummy very beautiful yeah. um and the passion just is i don't know the hand feel for me is incredible it's got the weird like i don't know what to call it i call it almost like a, a backwards bead <laughs> it's like yeah. a bead on the on the outside rim instead of the inside super comfortable based off of the old this craft mold the xs access xs i think it's called the xs and they brought it back and sort of retooled it a little bit Super sick disc. The flight characteristics are pretty straight. I, I think one of the reasons I haven't been bagging it too much as late is I got a first run that was a little bit more flippy and it filled a spot in my bag that I don't have, which is like a flippy eight speed. Um, and it was understable. It was like a hyzer flip flat, maybe some late turn to the right on it. So the later ones have been a little bit more overstable. And anytime something encroaches on my 7502 discs, I'm like, I don't need it. Don't want it. It's just going to mess with my game. But the passion, incredible. Eight speed. Yeah. The only thing that I'll add is I, I, I agree. Like the later runs definitely more have a little more stability to them. I think a lot of people think this is going to be an easy flip up monster that's going to yeah. like turn over for them. And I think people will be surprised at how much stability a passion has um, in its stock flight. And I think that's part be, partly because – is getting to an eight speed, so it's requiring a little more arm yes, speed and yeah. spin to make it fly. So for the big arms, for the Pro Tour players, they're going to be throwing this thing as a flippy turnover option. Not what you want to watch there. I, To me, the best example to watch of people throwing a passion is the girl who brought it back, and that's Paige Pierce. Watch her throw passions. It's a laser beam that goes really far, really straight, that she's going to use where she doesn't have the space to open up on a distance driver. So really, really great option. Yeah, typically when I lose a disc, it's because I throw it a ton. So I lost my passion. I've lost my passion. <laughs> uh, but How yeah. are you still doing the channel then? Very, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Discmas is taking it out of me. Um, nine speed is one I'm actually very excited about. And it goes back and forth. But right now, it is the Zeta's Moon. Nine five, negative one, two. The... S-line plastic specifically is why I'm saying Zeta's Moon. I love the C-line one as well, but this one is notably more understable. 
um, and it flies like a dream. It is a, I mean, like, if you are a more intermediate player, you will get more distance out of this than you do with any other disc, and that's, I'm sorry, it's a little sad, but it's the truth. <laughs> it's any of those, like, 9, 5, negative 2, negative 1, 2 discs that don't really fly like the numbers. Uh, I think of, like, the. I have a pretty beat-in lift. The Undertaker's typically more on the stable side, um, but the Escape, I have an Escape that pretty much is the same thing, uh, 9, 5, negative 1, 2, but does not fly like that. This is a Heiser Flip distance machine, and so is the Zeta's Moon. The S-Line CD1 is what it is, specifically the S-Line, because it flies the way I want it to. So, so good. And Discmania does such a good job with their new plastic, great quality control, great customer service. CD1. Yeah. I was going to say, for the uninitiated, if you're a Dismaniac, you're like, what are those weird names? It's <laughs> yeah. a CD1, it's a CD1. And a, a special run of CD1s. Uh, yeah. So, Took me a while to say that. <laughs> if you're looking for that. Um, speaking of Dismania's new plastic trilogy, uh, I <laughs> really like The Felon. Uh, I think that The Felon is a that overstable nine-speed slot, like the Firebirds and the Raptors and things like that. And The Felon gets a lot of critique and hate because a lot of people think that felons end up being too straight. But I think a lot of felons will have the overstability you're looking for. So if you don't have a huge forehand, but you want that reliable fade, felon feels like a really great alternative. I really thought I would never replace my Firebirds. Like, mm. I love Firebirds. I think Firebirds are wonderful. And I always joke that when a Sexton Firebird goes to sleep at night, it dreams <laughs> of being a stock felon. So um, I think that felons, really, really great alternative. And they make really overstable runs of felons. So you can find those. Like I, I love the moonshine rim. Though. Yeah. That's sick. But it looks super cool. And it works in my glow bag, too. Uh, so I get to play it on both sides. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's a, that's a great pick. Felons are just misunderstood. Never for... Well... Maybe <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Some felons are, Some Some are just criminals. Uh, and now what are we at? Ten speeds. Ten speeds are also a very fun one. Uh, for me, it's like my first love of disc golf, which is kind of sad, realistically, is the Onyx. Um, and I'm going to blank on the numbers. I can throw them up on screen. Ten, five or six, zero, three uh, is the numbers. And it's funny because as a beginner disc golfer, I can't remember. I think somebody, re probably Reed, uh, like a jerk, recommended me an Onyx. I bought a first run <laughs> Onyx for like thirty dollars, and uh, the thing flew. The thing was understable, straight up. Like I had it in my bag for really? a couple weeks. I was a beginner, and I don't think the videos on the channel is probably privated because it was super embarrassing. I was literally like documenting myself learning how to play disc golf. And I threw this Onyx on Heiser as somebody who could probably only throw 250 feet. And it flipped up. And it was my farthest throwing disc. And I had it forever. I lost. It was the first disc ever that I lost. And I was like, I need another one. And the next one did not fly anything <laughs> like the first run. I don't know why Discraft. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, st the, what was also a big part of it is the 10-speed rim is so comfortable. 10 speeds... Yeah. so underutilized i feel like yeah. it showed when we did survivor and we asked people to list as many 10 speeds as they could multiple people including our cameraman didn't guess any at all or maybe they knew one or two um but the onyx the 10 speed rim is so comfortable they also have the vulture and some stuff like that um but for an amateur or if you don't have super big hands 10 speed rims money now they're more overstable. I throw this like a lot of people would throw a Firebird, pretty much. Um, but it's just more comfortable for me. That's just how the cookie crumbles. But I love the Onyx. And yes, it's pronounced Onyx. It's a Greek word. Paul Macbeth like, made the disc. He calls it Onyx. I think it's like a Greek or Roman commander, something like that. That's how it's pronounced. I'm sorry, guys. You can leave the comments down below. Hater. Haters going to hate. <laughs> I'm sorry, Swanky Nation. I, I've been I've been doing that to you guys in so many videos today. Have you just So I I don't think that you actually look like that. More like a Yeah. A little more sophisticated. So uh, I don't have this ten speed in my bag, but I the ten speed that comes to mind as I was thinking through this 
that I think lots of people love for a brief moment and then they get distracted by all the shiny stuff that exists out there is the Beast. The The Innova Beast. That disc is, for a lack of a better word, a beast. It's so (laughs) good and it flies so far. Lots of you probably encountered the beast in a DX version that you either got and like if you decided to splurge and buy the five disc starter set from Innova instead of the three disc starter set, the beast is most often lumped in there. And I think that the beast is so amazing for easy distance. Uh, the person who like, I feel like, I don't know why he pulls the the beast out of his bag, Hunter Thomas at Foundation. <laughs> for a long time, when I first started working with Foundation, not at the beginning of this year, like when I first ever started filming with them, Hunter had a beast in his bag, and I used to be, if he pulled that one out, I was like, Damn. junk. Like, <laughs> we just lost a stroke on this hole. And he he just left it. Like, he just never came back to it. And I think so many people do that with the beast. It can do so much. It is available in a bajillion plastics because it is one of their oldest molds they have. And everyone just forgets about it. For all the shiny new stuff, that you, for your vultures and your PDs and all that, for your <laughs> onyxes. Uh, but, like, it is such a good disc. And I think if you have been missing that, like, easy if you've been missing that classic distance driver slot and you want to th- feel have the feeling of throwing a distance driver, the Beast, check it out. Go back to it. The Halo Beasts, insane. So good. Yeah, it's funny you say that because when we did our top, one of our like worst discs list, it didn't make the list, but I remember it getting a lot of votes. Like a lot of people were writing in the Beast, and it's probably the same reason. Like it's when you get it in a starter pack and you use it for a couple weeks or it breaks or something because yeah. it's DX plastic, you're like, this disc sucks. Yeah. And that particular disc probably did. But the Beast is a great mold. Yeah. That is a great choice. My favorite 11 speed is going to be a little controversial, I think, um, which Ooh. is good because it's, oh, actually, gosh, this is a really hard choice. I had a plan in my head, but I just saw another disc that's new to my bag. Uh, tough look here, boss. Tough look, but I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna stick with the original choice, uh, and we're gonna go the Grace, Latitude sixty four Grace. I uh, started with the Wraith was my go to eleven speed. I can get a little more distance out of the Grace, maybe because it is a little tiny, tiny bit more understable. I mean, a tiny bit. Some yeah. people over exaggerate, like, oh no, this is like a super beat in Wraith, and maybe it depends on the run. Um, but I definitely have a Star Wraith, and they fly almost identical. I just like this one in the hand a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I mean, I maybe get like two feet more distance (laughs) out of this guy. Uh, The Glide. And also, they look really cool. I really like the Kristen Tatar marketing and her wolf-like theme. Absolutely. Money. So good. (laughs) Yeah, I'm one of those people that the only graces that I've ever thrown were the first runs. And they were flippy. Uh, (laughs) Like they especially... I think that's how it is. First runs are always either super flippy... Or really overstable, and they need to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so especially the blue first-run graces, I have two of them sitting right on that shelf back there. And I was like, this is just not it. Uh, so we <laughs> we have a saying in my family, you can't be a Crawford if you don't like the Wraith. Uh, and that's why we know my middle brother is adopted because <laughs> he doesn't like the Wraith. He's wow. an or guy. And so um, it's going to be the end of a Wraith for me. It's really hard for me to walk away from that disc. Like, it just... It, it's such it's so fun to throw it's great in a variety of plastics there's pretty much any arm speed can find a wraith that works for you because they've been made for so long like even the grace being newer as a disc it's only like a couple years old yeah. it's still like there's not as much variety among graces like i feel like you don't really ever come across like a 150 gram no. grace uh like i in fact i'm pretty sure that they're all made like 165 and heavier it feels like and i think there's just two plastics yeah so the wraith and it's just because of time like that's the only reason that it for me has that leg up is just time and comfort um the wraith was the first ever distance driver that i ever owned in disc golf and so it just it has a really special place in my disc golf journey and because of that, I think the grace is on top. Or the wraith is on top. <laughs> ooh, ooh, Clip it. <laughs> ooh. Got him. Hear me out. If somebody could get me a wraith that has a wolf on it, I'd probably bag it. <laughs> this would get kicked right out of the bag. 
All right, on to 12 speed, which for me is as far as my bag goes. I do have a 13 speed for the list. Um, but 12 speed is going to be DD3. Love the DD3. I know they did start out as kind of clone um, destroyers, but dyna uh, dynamic discs. <laughs> but Disc Mania <laughs> does an incredible job um, at putting out really cool runs of DD3s. That's true. Um, like, this thing is sick swirly s-line plastic and i pretty much only use it as a utility disc there's no reason for me to use an overstable 12 speed as a distance driver but as a like forehand uh you know in the wind kind of disc this thing is incredible love the hand feel i also have i mean this is basically i mean innova made these i'm pretty sure but this Cloudbreaker 2, which is just a DD3 and swirly S-line plastic, I've had and been throwing since day one, and it's beat to shreds, and it flies so good. Like, this is my max distance forehand disc. Um, probably would be my max distance backhand disc if I practiced with it, but mm. the DD3, I love it, man. So good. Yeah. I think you could have even stopped the statement at Dismania is really good at releasing really cool runs. Yes, yeah. And then just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, you don't even have to say of DD3s. Yeah. I think Dismania nailed that market of what's a cool, like, what, let's just take stock discs and make them cooler. Yep. And they do that super great, well. Great market. <laughs> um, so the, it's a tough, tough spot here in the 12 speeds uh, because I want to say Destroyer because it's iconic. A lot of people are going to say it's overrated, but I but think it it's like iconic. I think it's iconic. Uh, I think it is, and it has encouraged so many of other molds to exist. Is the presence of the destroyer, but for me, I think I'm going to go with the um, Dyn or Discraft discs, uh, Missy Gannon Thrasher. Uh, That's a great choice. I it doesn't have to be the a Missy Gannon super. Thrasher, but I the th I had to get there. I was like the word. <laughs> as long as I walk down the stop trail, I get there. The Thrasher is so good. I think a lot of people look at the Thrasher and think it is Discraft's Wraith, but I don't think it is. I to me, it is much it's more, more like MVP's Wave. It is significantly flippier. Really, really great disc. If you want a more beefy version, you can just find a more just like the Wraith where there's a ton of plastics available, the Thrasher is a flagship mold for Discraft. So they've released it in a ton of stuff. Pretty much every wave of Ledgestone is going to have, like every year of Ledgestone, there's going to be some cool Thrasher mixed in there. It's true. You can find a max weight one that's going to have a little more stability to it. Or you can go down to, they make them in really great lightweight Thrashers that are bombers so i the thrasher is one of those like if i have a flippy beat in disc in my bag and i lose it a thrasher almost always jumps into that spot to fill if i ever like if i and i love it and i fall i use it a ton while another disc like seasons in so you could be like well do you really love it if <laughs> it always gets beat out but it's one of those like i always come back to the thrasher and i can't tell you why other than i'm a fickle human being who wants to just not have good discs in my bags at times. Uh, and so the Thrasher always wins. And then I'm like, oh, shiny new thing. And then I come back to the Thrasher. So it's got to be the Thrasher for me. That's a great choice. The Thrasher is great. We always tell people, like, if you're looking for a first 12-speed disc, um, the Hades is a great choice. But the Thrasher is going to be pretty darn close to the same thing and cheaper. <laughs> so get a Thrasher. Yeah. Thrasher is an incredible disc. Yeah. That's a great choice. Final pick, 13 speed. I do not throw 13 speeds and have no reason to, especially when something like a 12 speed is going to be perfectly acceptable as a utility overstable distance driver for me. But in the name of our cameraman, Will Yum Enlo, uh, 13 speed is going to be the Nuke. The Nuke is a fantastic disc. Uh, if you've ever seen Ezra Aderhold throw a nuke, I don't need to justify it. <laughs> that's that's about it. And also, it's a, like they have the Nuke. It's a really well thought out mold because they have the nuke ss the nuke os as discraft does so you can like you can have that kind of new can feel for whatever situation you need yeah. it's okay. a great disc if you can throw it yeah. <laughs> but yeah that's my 13 speed that's as, as high as i'm going guys <laughs> i i think for me this disc inspired by the destroyer uh and i'm a firm believer that a lot of trilogies distance drivers whatever the number is take one off of it like for most like okay they, they say it's a 12 speed 
drop it to an 11. Uh, like even I would look at the grace and be like, I you, I could argue and see people saying like, oh, it's a 10 speed or an 11 speed kind of a deal. Um, but for me, it's the Raider. Uh, I got four of these in my bag. Uh, and I, I think the Raider is a phenomenal disc. If you think you like throwing destroyers or things like that, and you don't seem to get the distance out of them, and you've never tried a Raider. I remember I was working on distance a couple of years ago, and I was throwing destroyers, and I was working with a Team Trilogy guy. He was a dynamic-sponsored player, and he was like, hey, man, try my Raiders. And so he just had me throw a couple of Raiders, and I was gaining 25 to 30 feet more distance on every single Raider shot with no form change whatsoever. Like, they just go far. Uh, and so... 13 speed, once again, could be argued that it's a 12 speed, but um, they come in a bunch of different plastics as well. And even like taking destroyers out of my bag and going back to Raiders, I was shocked at how readily available they are because people aren't throwing this disc. It's a very slept on disc. And because of like, especially once the Supreme plastic started coming out, oh yeah, I think that like we're going to get Orbit Raiders real soon. That's my prediction. Great choice. The Raider, definitely an underrated disc. Um, and speaking of some really nice plastic and in the name of Robbie C, we are going to give away for today's Disc Miss giveaway, this prototype Orbit Saki Bomb Felon. Uh, this thing is sick, board flat, beautiful purple Orbit plastic. It is 176 grams in case you're wondering. All you have to do to enter today's giveaway, subscribe to the channel and go to the Google form in the link below. Uh, you have 25 chances to win if you hit sign up for all of the Discmas videos. Thank you, Robbie C., again, for coming on the channel. Happy to be here, brother. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check Robbie C. out anywhere you consume your content. <laughs> Look up Robbie C. Disc Golf, and we'll see you in the next one. Stay swanky. Wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas. We wish you a merry Christmas and a happy.